blueprint debugging has been updated in Unreal Engine 4.19. And we're going to go ahead and take a quick look. Let's go ahead and run this. We have a breakpoint set on this function. And traditionally, we would now have to do resume, frame skip, or stop. In 4.19, we can now find a node, so whatever current node we're stopped on, step into execution, step over execution, and step out of execution. And let's look at that. So right now, for example, I could step into this function. We can see everything that happens inside of here. Okay, I like what's inside of here. I don't really care about anything that's inside of here. Let's just go ahead and step out, and we'll continue on. We didn't have to walk through individually each node like we had to before with the frame skip. Let's go ahead and resume. We're going to go ahead and stop this, and we'll play it again. But let's say you're inside of here, and you're going through something, so we'll step over. And now we are, okay, this is a macro. If I was to frame skip, we're going to end up going inside the macro and going through each node one by one. However, with the new setup, we can just step over, and it'll just run it like normal, and we don't have to worry about stepping through it. And then, of course, we could step over or step out back to where we were. One additional item is our Blueprint call stack. So we can go to Developer Tools under Window, Call Stack, and now we have a new window where we can actually see what's going on. Now I'm going to go ahead and dock this to the top. It is a window. It's modal. We can only have one of these at a time. So we can't have, like, for example, one for each Blueprint graph. We just have one. And let's go here. We're going to go ahead and play. Here's where we're at. Let's look at our call stack. Yeah, native code. Event begin play was called. And then now we're inside of our debugging example event graph. If we were to step through here, so we'll step into here. So look at our call stack. Yep, now we're inside the function do some math. We can right click on any of these and go to a function definition. So like, where is this at? Well, here it is. Okay, that was nice and handy. Okay, where are we at now? Now I'm somewhere else. Find node. Well, this is where my current execution is. Do some math. And that's it. Those are the basics. It adds a few extra abilities to allow us to more accurately mimic a traditional debugging environment by stepping into, out of, and around our execution and the ability to look at our call stack so we can actually see the execution order and see how we got to where we were.